Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Rolling Ragu. This morning, we're waking up on the Klamath River here in Redwood National Park in California. We're about, oh, I'm guessing about 30 miles south of the Oregon border. Beautiful night here. We got rested up the last three nights. We've now had full hookups, which we don't usually do. But, uh, you know, everything in California is a little more expensive or a lot more expensive. Even the places with no hookups were... I woke up this morning and getting a bit nervous about having only five days for the Oregon and Washington coast. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. We have three days reserved in Olympic on the coastal side of Olympic. Um, we have five days to get to Olympic. So I guess that's officially like eight days to do Oregon and Washington. I think it might be all right, but we're gonna have to sort of change the pace here. I spent this morning with my cup of coffee looking out the windshield at this beautiful view and sort of developed a map. I have good signal on my phone right now. So I was just researching, you know, must-see things along the coast. And I think today is gonna include lots of 15, 20 minute stops to look at something and then continue to move on, unfortunately. Our goal today will be to do at least 120 miles total so that we stay on track to hit Olympic on time. So I've got about 45 minutes. We're gonna have some breakfast. We're going to go pay our bill because when we got here, the guy just said, ah, let's square up in the morning which is fine with me. I hope he's around in the morning. We'll pull out in the street, get the car hooked up, hopefully without breaking anything. We're, uh, I feel like I'm just clumsy, clumsy. Uh, there's so many things to, to have in your mind as you're with a new rig and new places and new everything. So let's get started. The morning routine, boys have their air mattress out. The, the bed is uh, out and needing to get folded. Cindy's in there getting the clothes ready for today. Coffee on the counter. It's a mess in here. I'm gonna charge up batteries real quick, have a bowl of cereal, and we'll be rolling. Good morning, Ethan. You're on YouTube. So whoever sleeps on the sleeper sofa, <laughs> when I get up and I get my coffee, they have to get out of that bed and we move them to our bed so we can fold that bed in and walk around and we don't wake them up. Morning, Jazz. Time to get up. Out. Jasper's got to use the potty. Good morning, Owen. I don't know about you, but that looks like worn out children to me. I don't know how I keep up with them, but I do. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Put the game down for now and look outside and enjoy. Okay, no games, no devices all day. We're going to be seeing this kind of stuff, so just turn yourselves around. You can open the window. Somebody can go sit up front with Dad. Help Dad look for the um, visitor center, babe. Well, they must have had a rock slide there. Here too. So we stopped here at the Redwood National Park Information Center in Crescent, California. It was our last opportunity to stop and get a ranger badge. 
uh, while we were still in the park before we left for Oregon. And I wanted to talk for a second about um, ranger badges and the age of your children. Uh, the only thing you have are trees. And why uh, uh, are they they were. This is eight miles. Where are you from? Eight South Carolina. Carolina. Uh, this one about here. Here's where you're coming on Halloween. Now, if you used to call him, on what tree? And from here to here, you have how many miles? Our boys have probably, in the neighborhood of 50 to 60, Ranger badges. You're the only one that went to the beach. But what you didn't notice how foggy it was. The first trail you got to come to is the They really were passionate and excited to do each one of them. I learned a lot from this special place. But there's so much more to learn. I am a Redwood Ranger. My job is never done. I promise to keep on learning and share it with everyone. Oh, I think we squeaked into this badge. And this is our first experience with them. Yeah. Yeah. I just had someone stop and interrupt me, asked if I was on YouTube. So he's going to look up the channel. That's the first time that's ever happened. But I think I'm getting a little bolder about doing this sort of publicly. So the boys are now 14 and I'm coming on 15. And when they got in front of the ranger, he said, you know, well, what did you do? And the response was, oh, we don't know. And uh, well, did you see the beach? No, we didn't go down on the beach. Well, th did you go on any hikes? Yes. Which ones? Oh, uh, I don't know. Anyway, you saw the Fern Canyon video. How did they not remember 24 hours later that they had been on the Fern Canyon hike? It's a little heartbreaking as a parent. We're now forcing them to get the badges because once you're in it this far, you don't stop, right? You can't stop. So I think they, I think they still want to do it, but there is an element of like, we're too cool for this now. Time is moving on. Our jobs as parents are moving on. It's kind of a big deal. I mean, I don't want to make too much of it. But back on the road heading north, we will be, we will be in Oregon very soon.